welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you our monthly expense living in singapore as a expat couple singapore is one of the most expensive city in the world so i think this video will be really helpful if you are planning to move to singapore or you want to get rough idea about how much you will need in singapore for housing transportation entertainment healthcare groceries and dining Living cost may be differ according to lifestyle. So all the amounts I am mentioning here according to our personal experience. Today, 5th of July 2024, at the start of this year, the goods and services tax GST in Singapore was increased to 9%. So for context, if you are new here, hi, my name is Chanu and I make videos regarding lifestyle, fitness, travel and beauty so without further ado let's get started let's start with one of the biggest expense housing there are two main types of housing hdb flats and condominiums hdb flats are government provided public housing generally more affordable condominiums are private residences with more luxurious amenities Condo typically offer more facilities and amenities than HDB flats such as swimming pool, gym and security services. However, these amenities comes with a cost. Choosing between them depend on your budget and lifestyle needs. If you are looking for house listing, websites like Property Guru or 99.co are great resources to find current prices and options. We live in a two bedroom two bathroom condo in North region. Our monthly rent is about $3000. Also, we pay around $200 for utilities like gas, water and electricity. Next up, groceries and dining out. Singapore imports most of its goods due to its limited agricultural land. The majority of meat and vegetables are imported from neighboring countries like Malaysia. When it comes to groceries, I usually order all the dry goods using Amazon Fresh or Fair Price delivery app. I especially go to wet market, Fair Price or Shingshong to buy all the fresh veggies and meat. On average, we spend around $500 to $600 for monthly groceries. This is one of our Amazon order. They send our items nicely and safely packed. Their customer service is excellent. As you can see, they even include frozen item with frozen water bottles which we can use later. We also love dining out a few times per week. We spend around $400 for eat out. Now let's talk about transport. Singapore has an efficient and affordable public transport system consisting of buses, MRT and LRT. The MRT is the backbone of the public transport network connecting most parts of the island. For daily commuting, you can use an EasyLink card or a contactless bank card. The average cost of an MRT ride ranges from $1.50 to $2.50 depending on the distance traveled. Buses are similarly priced and transfers between buses and MRT are seamless with integrated fare system. Mainly, we use public transport, which is very efficient here in Singapore. But I don't really use public transport on daily basis. But we both spend around $150 on monthly basis. Occasionally, we use taxi and grab, which adds another $150 to our monthly transportation expense. Now let's talk about healthcare. We both have health insurance, but we budget around $200 out of pocket for expense such as doctor's visits, prescription and especially for health supplements. Now let's talk about subscription. We have Netflix subscription, Amazon Prime, YouTube Premium, Cloud Storage and couple of paid apps which cost us around $40 per month. Also, we pay around $70 for the internet. 
These are our main expenses, but there are always some miscellaneous expenses to consider. For personal care, such as haircut, skin care product, body care product, that totally depend on our personal choices. Also, we spend around $200 on gifts and household items. To summarize, our monthly expenses in Singapore come to around 5,500 Singapore dollars. Living in Singapore can be quite expensive, but with careful budgeting, it's definitely manageable. We've been using paid expense management app for almost two years and that app helped us to understand our expenditure habits. By the way, this video is not sponsored. There are a lot of tips to consider when it comes to manage your budget like grocery shopping at your local market and go to wet market for freshly produced veggies and meat. Also, take advantage of seasonal offers and discounts. Also, use public transport. In addition to that, there are lots of ways to manage your expenses. I'll talk about them in another video. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found this breakdown of monthly expenses in Singapore helpful. If you have any question or you want to share your own experience, leave it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye!